What is up guys, you got not the worst here, bringing you another Black Desert online video. And before we jump into that, I did just want to show you guys a little something if you weren't already aware of this. Uh, this is MMOtimer.com. It's got a uh, Bell and World Boss Timer uh, sort of website that works for BDO. Um, it'll support all regions, NA, EU, or anything else. So definitely check it out. Uh, keep track of those things for you if you're interested in that. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into our patch notes recap. Uh, now I know I am recording this a few days late and I apologize for that. Uh, I had some problems with my giant pit bull puppy uh, and it pulled on the cord from a microphone and actually damaged it. So I had to order a new one. Just got here today, so I'm going to catch up on uh, on the update videos. I do apologize being late for that. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm blaming it on my dog. So anyways, here we go. Uh, we've got start an amazing summer challenge being logged in for one, two, and three hours. You're going to get some Flinto juice, high quality draft box, and some Shikatu seals, which will help out for people that had a weird number of Shikatus left after the last event when they were handing out, uh, what was it, 14 or something like that. Uh, ongoing events still, we've still got the Shy Release events popping off, play for a free game pass, um, buying 5,000 Cacao Cash to get a free Explorers package, Community Event Art of Thrones, and the following challenges were changed from event challenges to goal challenges, the Shy uh, getting to level 60 reward, which is permanent, uh, and then uh, we also have achieved level 50, 56, and 58 on any character to get uh, some books of combat, which remember again, the book of combats were increased to 50% skill XP and 100% uh, regular combat XP as well. Uh, ended events, customize and win, Monster Zone event part three is now gone. Uh, do note that they didn't mention um, Aukman there, so we did get that permanent 40 to 60% increase with some movement there. I did try it out myself, although I tend to prefer history a little bit uh, personally, but it, it's pretty great and definitely some more options in Aukman when you have multiple people there, which nowadays it's pretty darn busy. Uh, rewards for Trace of Black Spirit and not Camera Shy have gone out. Um, we now have guild officers can now use skills. I literally just was saying this in our guild chat the other day because uh, the times that I play or when I'm recording or doing some content creation tends to not be the best for some of my other buddies when they're playing at night and um, you know they're doing Miramok or something like that and I'd love to be able to pop the buffs for them all the time but I'm not always around so this probably needed to, to happen anyways and I'm really glad to see that it did. So now any guild officers can use the Pledge of Blood and get those buffs whenever you want them. We got some game world fixes here, some NPC issues that were adjusted. Uh, mounts of the horse's flute is now called trainer's flute because it's going to coincide along with uh, donkeys, uh, camels, and miniature elephants. So no reason in calling it the horse flute from there. Uh, we've got a mount icon for donkeys, camels, and miniature elephants now displayed in yellow if you have an activated trainer's flute. New icons and descriptions were added for the donkey mount information. And we had an issue fix with acceleration of horses, of horses affected by character jump. Some class fixes here. We've got uh, Ranger using a resource consuming skill sometimes cause the character to stop moving. Some graphical updates. Process from switching to Awakening. Uh, it's combat stance by pressing C for uh, DK was in uh, fixed. Fi issue fix Mystic. And Shy can now look at the camera during auto run. Switch from combo uh, combat to auto run stance is now faster. Uh, a couple of issue fixes across the board there. Item change. We've got Wild Spirit Stone can now be used in processing grinding to obtain magical spirit powder. Fix an issue where the Golden Bell could not be stacked. Interior points for the Cosmic Dawn Chandelier was changed. Uh, it was changed to have plus 8 interior points if there are no item nearby its location. Fix the Alchemy Stone Shard tooltip to display correct amount of required Blackstone Powder. It was showing 2 before and is now 20. And we will check out the updated Pearl Shop in just a moment. Kaffir Stone can now be extracted from all enhancement levels capable of Kaffir's enhancement. I was unaware of this prior, prior to being a thing. Maybe where they couldn't be extracted at the try level as that was because I've extracted from... Uh, Tet as well. Oh, maybe pen you couldn't extract before. I'm not really sure what this changed just from personal experience having not done it, but obviously something and that's now been adjusted. Uh, a few monsters got dust effects improved based on their size. Uh, monsters near Olvia Coast were really relocated uh, away from the road. Good. Grass Beetle Zone just got even better to grind. Graphical fix on Al Rundy's face. We've got a few quest updates and the biggest thing being uh, we did see this on the KR servers launch last week, talked a bit about it. We've at, that added XP rewards to certain quests to help the growth of your characters. It kind of coincides with um, every MMO ever. If you complete a quest, you're not going to get combat XP. So you can be doing um, all sorts of other stuff, excluding main life fishing, adventure trade and repeatable quests, getting combat uh, EXP grades. The developers note on that all quests of Black Desert have contribution points as rewards, and they were used as a resource to live in this world. However, they are not used as they were first intended to be anymore. We've also noticed that 
Uh, many adventurers enjoy completing quests after the addition of Rule of Peace travel log. To help these players, completion of quests now increase amity with the NPCs of the quests and reward more combat XP. It's not a big change, but we hope this brings more meaning to those who enjoy quests. So we do have that as well. And like they said, amity rewards were added to some quests. Uh, knowledge update with Southern Gateway here. A couple of interface changes, some graphics fix, accumulated trade numbers of central markets now divided by Unix, uh, fixed expired tabs in the attendance reward to be removed. Uh, search for the web central market is now not case sensitive in English. And a couple of issue fixes there. Some resolves issues and known issues that we've got going on. We're aware of the error message. There's a customization file for a different class. I'm sure everyone's seen that multiple times by now. We're aware of the issue where the effect of Flinto's fresh juice is not applied when used while the character is swimming. And we're aware of the issue you cannot call your wagon even in close distance by pressing L and B on the mount icon when you have a trainer's flute activated. We are aware of the issue where the following system message is displayed when pressing L and B on the mount icon to try to call your wagon or ship. Please note, trainer's flute cannot be used to call wagons and ships. Your mounts too far away is the notice that we're getting. So let us take a look at what we got going on in the pearl shop. So we've got the swimming costume and Venisil costume added for Shy, which makes sense since it was recently come out. This uh, costume for Ninja, I'm not sure if it's been around before, but this is probably one of the coolest costumes I've ever seen in the game. And I wish they had one of these for Dark Knight, although there's the, uh, what's it called, the Dark Chaser or something that's fairly similar. But I think this is pretty badass, and I'm probably going to make this the thumbnail because I really like that outfit. Uh, we got the Sizar Classic set for Striker. It's meh. Um, some event, we've got an all-in-one training pack. It's going to give you a permanent trainer's flute, five skill change coupons, a uh, reset on breeding, a reset for male breeding as well, 11 mount XP scrolls, and a 20% 20, 20 off mount uh, coupon as well. The Wild Carrot Donkey Gear and Trainer's Flute Bundle we got for 3,000 pearls. You can also buy some of those items sold separately, as you see. It's a pretty hilarious looking donkey with that getup. We've got new Shy accessories that were added as well. So if you're looking to put a bunny nose on your Shy, you can now do that. Uh, special this this uh, this was interesting so let me let me read it we've got your first value pack uh, value pack for 30 days 15 artists and memories 10 uh, Valks cry 20% pet coupon 1500 pearls same price as what a uh, normal value pack would cost you so this is absolutely a great deal in general it's available until July 10th for all adventures uh, it's available until July 10th for all adventures and available from July 10th to the 24th for new adventurers. Please note, returning adventurers who are existing adventurers who can access the Olvia servers after being absent from the game for more than 30 days do not count as new adventurers, and the new adventurers are defined as the ones that can access the Olvia uh, server. So then we have the surprise thank you gift for one loyalty, which gives you a 20% uh, coupon, a value pack for one day, blessing a commissile for one day, and a book of combat for one day. Uh, you can get one per family, and the pack is only available for adventurers have used over 5,000 pearls since July 1st. If you're unable to find this item in the hot new tab, and after using 5,000 pearls, please revisit the pearl shop. Uh, this is kind of weird, like, not to go in on them, but like, surprise, thank you. Like, yeah, spend $50 with us, or actually $60, because there's not a $50 package in pearls. And then uh, we'll thank you with a one-day value pack and a one-day blessing of commas. Uh, okay, thank, thank you. Uh, then we've got some fireworks to celebrate the 4th of July for the Americas in the loyalty shop as well. So, yeah. Anyways, that is it for the patch notes and the Pearl Shop. Let me know what you guys think. Um, not too many crazy uh, changes brought into gameplay-wise. We did just get some things we were expecting with Shy and should see the Awakening coming around pretty soon. Um, and I, we will be checking out the KR and Global Lab test notes in the next couple of days as I get these videos caught back up uh, and then get back to our regularly scheduled programming for videos so that is going to be it for this video be sure to like it if you did enjoy it if you are new to the channel be sure to subscribe so you get notifications when the new videos go live and also if you have any comments or anything just let me know in the comments below i do read just about as many of them as i can uh, sometimes there's a ton though and I, I might miss it so feel free to ask it you can also jump in the discord if you have some questions for me and i pretty much always answer those whenever i do see them so that is going to be it for this video everybody thank you for watching and i'll see you next time one last thing I did forget to mention, uh, we also do live stream four to five days every week, including one going to be up tonight and a uh, pretty long, fun, uh, enhancing stream going on Saturday and Sunday this weekend. So if you want to check that out, there is a link to the Twitch page below. You can just jump on over there uh, and drop a follow if you want to get a notification for when we go live. Baby.